and what we're standing in front of a perfect example. It is time to make New York City more affordable to live so that families can thrive and senior citizens can afford to retire in the city that they helped build, such as capping the cities and water and sewer bills. It is time to create jobs in every neighborhood and create incentives to bring back manufacturing jobs to the city. It is time to enact the Small Business Survival Act to protect small businesses, most of whom are minority owned, against exorbitant lease increases. It is time to end the financial assault on the middle class and adopt the 2% property tax cap that the mayor opposes, which everyone in the state enjoys except us. It is time to ensure the viability of co-ops and condos, real affordable housing in our city by creating a new property tax class akin to one, two, or three family homes. Again, something that the mayor opposes. It is also long overdue to restore and maintain and enhance the New York City Housing Authority buildings, another example of existing affordable housing. It is also time to stop talking about education and commit to end the bureaucratic nightmare that principals and teachers endure and allow them to teach. It is time to properly fund school and expense projects so that students have up-to-date technology are not sitting on broken auditorium seats and have arts and music and after-school programs much like we had when we were students. It is time to allow neighborhoods the ability to approve additional traffic controls in their communities to address dangerous intersections. Instead of de Blasio's administration's narrow-minded anti-motorist policies, such as their crazed rush to install bike lanes and pedestrian plazas, which do little to increase pedestrian safety. It is time to restore and enhance our public transportation system in all of the boroughs. Instead of a proposed billion dollar boondoggle for a tram along the Queens and Brooklyn waterfront. And I might add, it's called a bus. Why don't we put a bus there? It is time to fix our roads and infrastructure and end the traffic gridlock that encompasses our city. It is also time to stop the failed top-down planning approach in this city and allow every neighborhood, every resident to have a voice in a, and a real say in what happens in their own community. It is also time to help students and families deal with college tuition and student loan debt by creating free tuition at CUNY for city residents and employees and helping those with huge existing college loan debt. It is time to fix our streets improve our parks, and enable every New Yorker quick and easy access to simple city services. It is also time to ensure that every neighborhood has a senior center, and every center be funded regardless of their size and how often it is open. It is also extremely important that we provide better services to our veterans who have given so much and have received so little. Finally, it is time to put people and neighborhoods first and politics last. For all of these reasons and much more, I officially announce my candidacy for the mayor of the city of New York. Yeah. Now, I, since the rain has held off, 